Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. We have our daily hangout starting right now. If you're just joining us, we are going to hang out with Ed Weeks today. Ed is an actor from England, and he's on the show called The Mindy Project, which is on Fox. Um, and hanging out with us right now, we've got our friends Hector, John, Nate uh, from Colorado, Nick. And if you would like to join us, circle me, put a message at the bottom in the comments box, or tag anyone in the Hangout and uh, someone that can vouch for you, or just let me know. We can have a pre-Hangout on Air Hangout, and uh, we can get you in the Hangout so you can chit-chat with our celebrities. We, um, let's see, yesterday we didn't get a chance to go over Game of Thrones. Who has not seen, or who watches Game of Thrones, first of all? Who's a big fan? Nate? Are we it? What? That's impossible. Tony is, I know. Tony's all caught up. I cannot believe that, John, <laughs> you do not watch Game of Thrones. There's no excuse for this. There's none. I have an excuse for not being able to watch it, though. What is it, Nick? It better be a good one. I never get to watch what I want on TV because other people are always watching their well, things. There's this thing called HBO Go. Uh huh. <laughs> DVR. And, um, you can also DVR it and watch it later. But there there is... are people in my household who have 11 hours of scheduled programming a day. Well, then why watch. don't you watch it on HBO Go? You can watch it on anywhere. Stream it. I might. Yeah. All you have to do is when you go on HBO Go is just um, put in your account information, you know. Um, I have too much to catch up on now. No, no, I did it in a week. You can do it in a okay. week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. Anyway, it was really good. Um, this episode, this last one, Nate, I didn't think it was one of the most exciting ones, but it did reveal um, some important information, some answers, perhaps, or one answer to one big question that a lot of us had last week before. Um, if you have not watched this past Sunday's episode, you might want to cover yours. <laughs> I should make a sign. Okay, we're about to talk about Game of Thrones. Well, I should put, um, we stopped. Okay, let me, I'm going to um, make a sign when we stop talking about it. We stop talking Game of of Thrones. What's it? G O T. Is it G O T? No, no, no. G little O big T. That's it. G little O big T. I thought it looked different. Okay, so if you've not seen it, look away. Cover. Mute. <laughs> Game of Thrones spoilers. Game of Thrones spoilers. Okay? Game of Thrones spoilers. So, um,. Did you, I didn't even think that it was grandmother who was behind the plot to kill King Joffrey. Did you? You know, whenever she started kind of, uh, you know, in that episode, yeah. Like, before that, I, I don't think there's any way you could have got it. I mean, you would have just had to single her out random like anyone else. But yeah, whenever she started talking, I'm like, ooh, I think I know where this is going. Yeah, unless you read the books, of course. Then yeah, I was not. Right? Um... But it was, I could see why. My favorite line, and Tony says it so well. Are they going to take our shot after the pet project? Oh, yeah. um, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's see. Let's see if they take our shot. I'm ready if they do. Um, Tony's going to come over here, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll play the part of Marjorie, okay? Hi, I'm Tony. I'm Tony. What can I do? Okay, so you have to play the part in Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, okay, so they are going to take our shot. So... If I play Marjorie and I say, Grandmother, um, how would you know who was behind, uh, who killed King Joffrey? Well, you don't think I would ever let you marry that beast. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Yesterday, you kind of did it like before, just like a couple lines before, but it was really good. Um, 
hey, we're talking Game of Thrones. Come join us. We're discussing it. YouTube.com slash MyFoxLA. Tony's doing a great impression. <laughs> well, okay. I'm doing my best <laughs> of one of the characters. <laughs> anyway, okay, thanks, Tony. Okay, so they just took our shot on Good Day LA, and since there's only four of us, or four of you, it comes out really big on screen. So you are rock stars. Um, rock stars in LA. So we're still talking about Game of Thrones. Um, anyway, it, I, I was telling Tony that I have to stop my emotional tie to uh, Jon Snow. Snow. Because I have this very strange suspicion that he's going to die very soon. And he's not long for the Game of Thrones world. He's not long. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? What do you think, Nate? What say you? You know, I don't. I don't know. I don't have a lot of opinions about Jon Snow, other than you know the what? stuff I. I know. Well, I mean, it's, it seems like if things would have happened, they should have. Because now it's like the the guy. I'm trying not to give too much away, but I guess it doesn't matter because you told them. But, like, the guy who you would think would be against him, you know, because he got counsel from the other dude, he's, like, all, like, okay, you can go do this, and I'm going to, like, you know, stay here while you're away and do what I want. So he's not really directly opposing him now. Oh, no, 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 no. He only allowed him to go to Craster's house yeah. Um, yeah. to go get the men who killed Craster because he thinks he's going to get killed. He has ulterior motives. He, he, he suspects he'll get killed as he goes there to do this. Yeah. Well, so you think just because it's a dangerous situation, like, that's how he's going to die? Or do you think it's going to be some unexpected or some twist yeah. thing? I think that's how he thinks he's yeah. going to die. He's going to get killed out there. He thinks he's going to get killed by... But is that what you think? That's what I think he thinks. I think... But what do you think will actually happen to John? I think John will actually be killed... Yes, by those men, by Craster's men. <laughs> because he's going to save Bran and the, uh, you know, Hodor and the other two, the brother-sister, I can't remember their names, but I think I think John's going to save those four. I still think those four are still going to be together for a while. Although Hodor got stabbed in the leg so hard, I, I feel kind of, I hope he doesn't die. Who's going to carry Bran around? Yeah. Right? There's that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Tony? Do you think those four will stay alive um, much longer? Who? Bran, Hodor, the brother and sister. You know the uh, the what do you what do you call that? The wa the wa the wag the warts. What do you call the guy who Bran? You know he has that ability to fly into an animal's body and then he'll yeah. like. That guy can't die. He'll have to stay around for a while. He's a warg or something like that. Yeah, Bran's definitely gonna stay alive for a while. You know, I think I got some really good parenting skills in the last three minutes, though. You did? <laughs> like, heat your vegetables, or we're going to give you to the White Walkers. Oh, my God. End of the year, I know. Sorry. Forget I said anything. But that was really cool, because you got to see a little bit more into that world. Okay. So, someone was saying to me yesterday that the White Walkers are different when they got to that icy platform. Like, what did you think? Because the White Walkers who were on the horse and all that kind of stuff went to this place where the head of, apparently, the White Walkers, he seemed different. Like, he didn't have half his face chewn off or anything like that. Well, I don't know if it's different, like, they, they turn when they get to their magic ice fort, or if there's if those are, like, the the footman zombie guys, and, yeah. you know, the, the leader zombie people or whatever, they're they're more normal and... Yeah, the leader zombies seem more normal. I can't imagine that they're building a White Walker army based on Craster's bastard sons. I mean, yeah, that would have taken a while. There aren't that many boys being born, so it's just kind of interesting. Um, we said goodbye to Brienne. I hope that wasn't the last time we'll see her. I think we'll see her again. Um, I have to see Brienne get it on with Jamie at least one time. What do you think? I don't know. It has to happen. Yeah, she's uh, got all kinds of new cool stuff. Like, she, yeah, she, she should be around a while too. She's got that new Valyrian steel sword. Um, what else? Uh, what else did I miss? What else did I miss? 
Um, oh, well, the, the I'm horrible with their names, but the, the dude, the the guy that wears the robe that saved... Little Finger? Lord that one guy in the robe on Game of Lord Thrones. Who? Lord Baelish, the one that saved... Yeah, Tom. yeah, you yeah. learned that you learned that he was, you know, had a part in this too, and then when the, the queen person said it, um, you're like, yeah, ooh. No, he goes, he goes, my new friends. What did he say, Tony? My new friends mm -hmm. um, have an interest or something or whatever. So, obviously, he's allied himself with grandmother and Marjorie, so he suspects that Marjorie will become queen, and that... Um, you know, Lord Baelish, who's gone off to marry, basically, the sister of Catelyn, uh, Lady... What's her name? Lady Aaron, whatever. Um, anyway, so he suspects he'll be back in the picture. But I think he's going to try to do something to stop You know, on an interesting what? side note that has what? absolutely nothing to do with the plot... What? Lena Headley? Hetty? L Lena Hetty, who plays the grandmother? Who plays the grandmother. Yes. Oh, no, no. Oh. Lena Hetty, who plays uh, Queen Cersei. Oh, Cersei, yes. Uh, I read an interesting article on her just yesterday, and this is a completely uh, a, this is a complete aside note. Okay. It's nothing to do with the plot or anything, but interestingly enough, apparently she went through a really bad divorce. In real life. In real life. Okay. And she ended up having to sell her one point. Well, she ended up having to sell her Hollywood Hills home. She's from here. She was living here. Oh, she ended wow. up having to sell her Hollywood Hills home for $1.3 million, which if you know anything about L.A. real estate, that's not a lot of money. No, it's not. Uh, selling her Hollywood Hills home for $1.3 million uh, at a $340,000 loss because it was all part of the divorce mm -hmm. uh, 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 proceedings that she was going through, which apparently uh, they were quite contentious. At one point, prior to getting Game of Thrones, she had only $5 in her Shut checking account. Shut up. Did you hear that about Queen Cersei? Wow. She only she, had $5 in her checking account. She she just recently, and by just recently, I mean just probably now. Probably this season. Uh, she just now bought a fixer-upper. She just now bought a fixer-upper. Her original home, the one that she sold in the divorce, was 2,500 okay. square feet. Which is modest for Which is uh, modest. At, at my house. She just, she just, she just bought, um, I think it's something like 1,800 square feet. Square feet. Wow. Maybe even less. Well, she uh, doesn't live here very home much. Home in uh, Sherman Oaks. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's, it's, um, it's um, kind of a, a, a mid-century home that, that needs work. Mm -hmm. And I and she paid like seven hundred eighty seven hundred ninety thousand wow, dollars for it. she got a great it. deal. Uh, yeah, she snapped it up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. But it's it's it taught. But basically, the article was all about how people think that these stars make a ton of money, make a ton of money, and live so extravagantly. And that's really a very mm -hmm. small percentage of them. Yeah. Well, I would imagine. I'm sorry, Tony. Here, I have to go do a quick weather. I would imagine that her contract has been up t since that time. Yeah, but 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 you know, but with a lot of with a lot of, um, and Maria, you know, may want to talk about this more. With a lot of these so-called stars, I mean, you know, these are not a, these are not your Brad Pitts, your Angelina Jolie's, your Will Smiths, your, um, you know what I mean? Um, these are not people making, you know, twenty, twenty-five, thirty million dollars, or Robert Downey Jr. In the case of Robert Downey Jr., fifty million dollars a film. Um, you know, these these are guys that are basically earning a paycheck. Granted, a really, really, really good paycheck. But they're but they're basically making a paycheck. And after they're killed off this show, then what? Yeah, I always wondered that because whenever people get killed off shows, they always have like you know big parties and cake and act like it's a happy occasion. I'm like, wait, how happy is that that you're you're dying mid season? That's a lot of money you're losing. It's not a happy occasion. Yeah. Uh, and and with a lot of these actors, I mean, granted, she's one of the more fortunate ones just because she was able to get steady work, right? I mean, on a show that happens to be a big hit, that in and of itself is is um, rare. So she is she is certainly one of of the rare actors in Hollywood who um, who you know is is working steadily and 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 getting a good income. But the thing is, even with a lot of those actors. It can be feast or famine. 
And so right now for her, it's, it's, it's feast. But what happens after, after she's no longer on this show or Game of Thrones ends, even if she, you know, even if she makes it to the, um, to the, to the end of the, of the show, whenever, you know, however long this show runs, the fact of the matter is who, she doesn't know, you know, she, I'm sure she's hoping that she's upped her stock a lot by being so visible on a show like that, and, and maybe it will land her other acting gigs, but you just don't know. And so I think she's probably, um, you know, have, I think she's probably learned from past experience that um, you, you, don't, you don't blow it all just because you're getting it right now. Well, it's kind of the modest hope that, you know, if you can, if you can have some of these seasons or shows for a while and get known and liked by an audience and get a fan base, then if things go away, you've at least put your, you made your footprint enough that you can focus on a hobby or do something else to live until you can get to the next gig. Or, yeah, or that your cachet on, on this show becomes, for instance, a, a perfect example of that would be um, the guy who played, um, and I, I, can't, I, think, I think his name is Aaron, I can't remember his last name, one of you I'm sure will know, who played... Um, Jesse on Breaking Bad. Yeah. Um, Aaron Paul. Um, listen, you know, he, he wasn't, first of all, supposed to, he wasn't supposed to have even been a major character that was supposed to last the length of that, that series. But his chemistry with uh, Brian Cranston was so good and it caught on uh, so amazingly with the audience that they extended his stay and he ended up being there. So that was incredibly fortunate for him to begin with. But you notice right after that, he got a lot of movie offers because he, his personality on that show uh, was, was, was so um, significant that he built up enough uh, cachet and, and uh, was so popular that that is, is likely to lead to, uh, you know, I'm sure he's hoping and, you know, and I, I wish him the best. Mm -hmm. Is, it's probably going to lead to a number of um, other, of other roles and and to, and to perhaps a, a successful acting career. That's what you hope, at least you know. And I'm yeah, sure Ashley is hoping the same thing. The only other movie, to be honest with you, that I've ever seen her in was the first. Um, what was that horror movie uh, uh, about? Uh, you know, people where they suspend the law for one night and. Um, oh. You can go out and kill anybody you want, or do anything. I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name though. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't. Purge. Uh, yeah, the the Purge. Um, that's the only other movie I've seen her in. I'm sure she's been in other stuff, but I I don't. I can't recall anything else that I've seen her in. So that's got to be stressful if you're if you're just getting one of these make or break moments in a you know a star in a, in a film or, or a TV series and you know you have to be thinking okay I can inject some of my own character and personality but you have to stay within some sort of parameters of the writer set so you're like you've got to be stressed a little hoping that the writers give your part uh, a more amiable or even infamous you, you know what I mean because so, right, there's right. only so much you can do but you've got to kind of you know play with the writing right yeah. Yeah, it, you know, it is. I mean, I think people really don't, uh, you know, I think people are so accustomed to seeing the stars that make so much money and, you know, and, and have become so successful in Hollywood. They forget that a very, 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 very small percentage of, of actors in Hollywood actually make any money. Okay, we have stopped talking about <laughs> Game of Thrones. We so come back in. Come back in. Come back in. Come back in. Oh, oh, is that what everybody? Oh, I wasn't even talking about the plot. I was talking about. I know, but just so you know, in case you haven't noticed, we have stopped stopped talking about Game of Thrones. It does kind of say we stopped talking got. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so did you um, finish your point about the stars not making as much? Well, yeah. I mean, you yeah. know. Yeah, but they, I don't know, sometimes when you're going through divorce, you kind of have to state how how you don't have money, so you don't have to pay your spouse or whatever, spouse of support. Well, I, and I don't even know that that was necessarily the case with No, her. I don't I mean, know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think know. a lot of it just has to do with... The reality? You know, $5. You know, very few people are, are, are $25 million movie stars. No, that's true. 
even ten dollar million dollar movies. You just so. see the same actors over and over and over again on those billboards. Like again, I just drove. I just I just thought this yesterday. I saw um, Drew Barrymore with Adam Sandler, and I go again. Is this like their fourth movie that they've made together, or fifth movie? Anyway, it does look funny. But still. Nick, why are you frozen? He's it's away. Oh, he's, he's away. His video. Um, that's his new photo. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like it. Chris has sent uh, a message. Let's see what you say here. I was really surprised she was the antagonist from Judge Dredd. Didn't recognize her at first. At least that's a good sign for her to land gigs like these. She was on Dr Judge Dredd. I don't know what the show that is. I'm not familiar with that. Judge Dredd, I think it's the character that Sylvester Stallone made famous in the movie. Oh, so she was in a, a Sly Stallone movie maybe? I really hadn't seen her before prior to today. Jimmy, you have an invite. That's weird. Um, okay, let me... I wonder if there are people not getting my invites today because... Uh, I did not. What? You didn't? I had to get it from Hector. Well, that's no bueno. Um, okay. Let me try to resend Jimmy. Get Cordell in here, too. Um, you know, Claro, Maria. No bueno, you said. No bueno. <laughs> claro. Uh, claro. Um, you know, I never really talked about it with you guys in detail last time about how, you know, with uh, Vic, what's his name from Google, uh, leaving Google, what that would mean for Google Plus and the Hangouts and, and the social uh, aspects of Google Plus. Are you guys concerned a, a little bit about that? Have, have there been any more um, truth to the rumors that they're going to dismantle? Because they've already taken some people out of the Google Plus team that were on the social side um, and, ha and put them on Android. So there's some rumors going around that they're going to dismantle the social side of Google Plus and specifically this, what we're doing. What do you um, think? no. No? Have you heard about that, Tony? What's that? That, um... Stacy! There's Stacy, that Vic, one of the head guys of Google, left the company, and since he was really the guy that spearheaded the social part of Google+, Plus, that mm -hmm. um, this is all going to start getting dismantled. What do you mean, this? This, the social part of Google+. Plus. Jimmy! Thanks, Hector. I hear that they're still um, running commercials for Google+, Plus. so if that was their plan, surely they wouldn't still be airing commercials telling people to get on Google+. Plus. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, all right. I'm just curious. And Stacy, where have you been? Working, working it, girl. Um, you guys have some weather headed your way. Are you prepared? There could be some severe storms. Are you in the Midwest, Stacy? She's in the Carolinas. I know it's windy here in, in, in Orange County. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, here in Riverside, too. Really? It's oh, called, yeah. It's, it's called yeah. the Santa, Santa Ana Winds. They write songs about the Santa Anas and make movies. Do they really make people crazy, or is that an urban legend? I think, I think they do. <laughs> And I think it's partly due to allergies. <laughs> crazy. They're crazy because they're chasing their stuff all around the backyard from being blown around. And they have allergic, uh, you know, like their nose, everything. And they get kind of miserable. But yeah, you get really blown around. Wind gusts today expected to be about, well, in those wind prone areas below the canyons, like Fremont Canyon, Santa Ana Mountains. It was windy in the, it was windy in the woods. Hour. That's a, that, those are like hurricane force winds, you guys. Huh? It was windy in the Wilshire Corridor last night. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was crazy last night. It was howling. It's going to continue. So high fire danger, too. So I hate that. when I Whenever I do the weather forecast and then I talk about the heightened fire danger and the dry conditions and red flag warnings, I feel like I'm inviting pyromaniacs to come out and do what they do, which is psychotic. I don't know. Um, like, I think fire is pretty, but I don't get the whole pyromaniac thing. No, I don't either. Definitely a problem. John, can I just tell you one thing, John? Yeah. 
you you talk too much, and if you keep it up, young man, I'm gonna have to do something about it. <laughs> yeah. You too, Chris. No, I'm just saying. No, Chris. They're just thinking the same thing. Chris is on the comment box. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. Is that Effie? Who's that? It's Effie. Hey, Effie. Effie. Hey. She should do commercials. She's so beautiful and just adorable. Thank you. Say thank you. You should do television <laughs> shows or something. She's just too cute to not be on a baby box somewhere. Yeah, this is her sick, so she's running around the house. She didn't sleep at all last night, so she's wired. Aw, I hate that. Yeah, right. Oh, where are you going? Okay. Aww. We um have kind of a quiet hangout today because we just have the one guest. Which I think is May. We have uh, Ed Week from the Mindy Project. Does anyone watch the Mindy Project? It's on Fox. I used to. No. Used to? <laughs> Did you watch it? No. I've, I have to honestly say I've never watched an episode of Mindy Project. It looks funny. Yeah, M Mindy Kaling is funny, but uh, I haven't watched is that it. Is that my favorite name, Mindy Kaling or Mandy, Mindy Kaling? Is it Mindy Kaling? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. I'm asking you. <laughs> um, okay. What else you got for me? Well, I came, on, I came on strictly for you guys, so, you know, the guests are secondary. Aw, thank you. Thank you. I wonder if the people in the comment box know that we don't speak Arabic. Are they writing Arabic? Uh, maybe they have their, uh, what do you call this, turned off. Translate. The translation, the translate button. A lot of times the auto-translate, you can't understand what they're saying anyways. Yeah. I it <laughs> one, of my, one of my friends, like yesterday, uh, oh. He speaks Spanish as as well as English. So yeah. he he text messaged this message to to this guy who doesn't speak Spanish, and uh, you know he he meant to say, hey, I had a fun time hanging, bro. Talk to you later. And yeah. uh, he did the Spanish equivalent of that. So this guy he didn't read Spanish, so he put it in Google Translate, and it said like, I had time, I had a good time with your man, love. I, I want to be <laughs> with you or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So it, it was like super awkward and awesome. <laughs> So, that's, Google why, Translate. that's funny. That's why I'm not so quick to um to cut you know, <laughs> stuff out, write stuff on my my streams because I have to think for a second. I go, okay, maybe in Google. Good time with your man loves. It meant something else. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely have to check take like a grain of uh, a grain of salt. So if it says something you're not expecting, it's yeah. probably an error in the translation. Right, right. And you get a lot of Spanish fans as well posting um your co comments to you in Spanish as well. <laughs> By the way, you guys, not to change the subject really quickly, but I'm going to just change the subject for just a second. On my stream, and I hardly ever do this, I don't ever like ask you to um, read a post unless it's mine. Um, <laughs> unless it's Mommy Loves Tech. <gasps> There's uh, Cordell. No. Um, but I do on my stream because um, a friend of mine whom I have um, spent really the last several days with because he's here um, in LA. He's from Hawaii. I know his wife and he very well. He's 42 years old. He's got three young boys and he's been diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer. Wow. Um, yeah, just like it really has, a, I just, I want to do as much as I can to try to spread the word, not only on awareness of this type of cancer, but also um, for, uh, to donate to his a cancer fund, um, or just send them good vibes, or just to share it. But you know, it's, you, you know what it's called? Yeah, I put it on the on my stream on his link, but oh, the other okay. Tumblr page, and I'll try to find the link and then I'll show it to you. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll share it. But if it's you on your mommy loves tech page. My, yeah, it's on my page, and if you could share it, or um, if you you know can let people know how to donate or get more information. There's very few people, only 1% of melanoma um, victim or uh, uh, with this disease have this particular type of cancer. So it's quite rare. And, and most people have um, months, if not, not very much to live. And um, we were hoping he could get this treatment from a UCLA that started yesterday, but apparently he couldn't qualify because his tumors are 
13 millimeter and they need it to be 15 millimeter. So it's kind of weird because we're kind of wishing it would grow a little bit bigger so he could get this aggressive treatment, but it's, it's wow. Strange. Yeah, so it's kind of a strange thing to be in, but I cannot tell you a nicer, nicer person um, that he is. He is, oh, I, his whole family. So I just, I just want the best for possible treatment for, for him and his family. So if you could spread the word, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, so his name is Marcus, Marcus Rimo. So wow. thank, thank you, thank you. Um, but he's in such great spirits. That's what I love about him, you know? Like he does, he's just very yeah, business and you know doing all these things and. Is he considered he, terminal? Um, I I don't know if he used that exact word, but um, most of them are given hopefully with this aggressive treatment five to seven years, um, if he's lucky. So that's what he would like to strive for. Um, but without the treatment, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, so, we're pretty with him, so. For sure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. But he has such a great outlook and a great spirit about it. I'm really quite I'm amazed by it. And uh, I'm using it to buoy myself and, uh, you know, look at life a little bit differently, as usual. But, um, but yeah, he's a good guy. He was my photographer in Hawaii. Like, not photographer, but he worked at the same news station as I did, so he was a videographer. And, um, Your cameraman. Cameraman, yeah. We call him Photog. Here, but I guess he's a video journalist. Yeah, <laughs> he's part of the family in that sense. Um, anyway, so look on my stream, okay, and then and, and then share it. Thank you if you're watching online. Um, okay, so what else? What else? I don't know where Ed is. Uh oh, do you hear Haley? She's running around like crazy. <laughs> is she also missing him, or is that something else? Huh? Is she also looking for him, or is that for something else? I think that's for something else. Can I say something real quick? Yes, of course. Stormy Henderson, if you are watching us right now, you got to let us know. What do you mean? A tornado struck very close to his town. Uh, oh, they had to evacuate oh, their news yes. station. You're right. Very, very close to Tupelo. Oh, my gosh. Stormy. Well, watching us, Stormy. Give, give us an update. Yeah, let us know, yes. Stormy. He hasn't posted in a few days, so I'm kind of worried. Yeah. Concerned about him. But it was so bad that uh, the uh, weatherman that was doing oh. the live report on the tornado had to evacuate. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, the weatherman has to evacuate. That's pretty bad. Yeah. He was telling the crew, get to the basement now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've seen that. It's rare, but we have seen that a couple of times. Um a violent storm still pushing out of the Gulf Coast uh, today, and it's going to all push up like towards the Carolinas and, and things. Oh, hey, Michelle, yeah. do you know if Ed Weeks is here or if um? Is this him right here? Can you oh, there he is. <laughs> yep. Hello, please. Hello. How you doing? He literally just morning. popped up on the set as I was asking you. So perfect. Uh. <laughs> She's so not wearing is. her Google Glass. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, where are you guys located now? Who? You. I thought you guys were going into a corner area or something like well, that. We were over. We were over here when we were. Like, where are you now? It's in front of where we were. Weren't we here when you uh, came to visit? We were already here, were we not? Do you remember? I don't know. Yeah. I thought I thought you were at one of those um, like three station things. Well, there's the news set, you know, and then we used to be kind of behind this monitor, like right over there. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. When we had to visit, we were right there. Okay. So this is like right across where they were building that area before. And yeah. That area. Were, yes? Who's calling me? No, I said it's the same area. And then we were back there. I don't know if you see that room back there. Control room. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control room? Right there, door. Small little control room. So we were back there for a while. Mm -hmm. And then we moved back over here, which is kind of in this corner, and then that way is ah, to the right. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's Tony being yeah. my social Hello, leader. Tony. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he has just finished, I think he just finished his blog. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a, a problem here. Uh-oh. Oh, error. no. It's all operator error. 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 <laughs> 
Um, Ed Weeks, you know, it's so funny because this is the first time that we've had a British actor in a long time, and none of our British people are here. Okay, can I just say I am so hooked on the BBC, uh, what are they, series that they have? She Since she's been stuck home recuperating, we've been watching a lot of the BBC series. Orphan Black oh, is um, amazing. Luther, Sherlock. Orphan Black? Oh, Sherlock, I've heard, is really, really good. Yeah, if, Sherlock, if, you, you, Orphan Black? if you have not seen Luther, you have to see Luther. What's Luther about? It's no. got um, it's got a Bruce Elba in it, and he's a he's a he's a, he's a um a, a detective, a detective slash police officer, and it's just an amazing series. Yeah, it, it, crazy. The uh, Fall, that's a good one. Um, or from um, Black, we watched. Well, we watched that last year. Being Human, year. we watched the entire five seasons. So being Human. Wait a minute. Almost human or being human? Being, being human. human. The one with the vampire, the wolf, the werewolf, and the ghost live oh, together. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm with you, Cordell, because when I was home recuperating, I binged watched Breaking Bad or um, yeah. Orange is the New Black. We watched that. We, we watched. Okay, so how did you feel about Orange is the New Black? Are you bringing Ed Weeks over? Uh, supposed to be. How do I feel about Orange is the New Black? Uh huh. I love it. Yeah, it just makes me terrified of going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's our scared straight program. Yeah, I, I'm scared straight, oh. hun. Yeah. And, and you know, and you know yeah. that that show is based on um, a true story. That yeah, 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 yeah. It, it starts yeah. out saying that. Yeah, Piper, the one that's a consultant. Piper, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's just crazy to me. Well, you know, you don't ever want to be in prison, in federal prison. I think Tony set me straight on that. You don't get really that much time off for good behavior in federal prison. How does Tony know? <laughs> Tony studied law. <laughs> he has some clients that he um, represented. No, um, no Tony knows a lot. It surprises me sometimes how much that guy knows, but he does. Um, hey, Maria, do you know what a brony is? A brony? <laughs> A brony. No, what's a brony? Is that from okay. Orange okay. the New Black? No, Jimmy Jimmy got me hip to this, okay? When we were binge watching on Netflix, I came across My Little Pony. My Little Pony is a cartoon one. show. No, My Little Pony okay, is so a cartoon I'd... show. Oh, okay. Um... And men that like My Little Pony are called bronies. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I have heard of that. Someone wrote a book about that, didn't they? Didn't we have like some football player come and talk about bronies? Do you guys remember? I don't know, but it, they have conventions where it's a bunch of men, whether they're straight, gay, bisexual, whatever, that they love My Little Pony. And she didn't know. She thought I was kidding when I said it, and so she googled it and found that I was right. So she's on there. She's on this click, this kick that I know a little bit about everything. You should be in the news business, um, Jimmy, because that's, you know, between Tony and, and Steve, they know a little bit about everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys hire me, I'll come by. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take him, Maria. You can have him. Look, I'm giving him to you. <laughs> um, okay, so Ed, Ed Weeks is on his way out here, I'm thinking, because he just stepped off the um, studio. So we'll get a chance to teach out with him. I don't know much about the um, – I'm, I'm counting on you guys. Hopefully we'll add in some questions, but – um, Ed Weeks in the project on Fox. He's a young cat. He's a good looking guy. He's got that accent you know that drives us crazy. Um, <laughs> what is wrong, Tony? Can I help you? No, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out something. Tony is not a happy man right now with his computer. Well, I was going to ask him what he thought of the, um, the gun. He was wearing the gunners yesterday. I want to know what he thought about them. He loves them. He's got the, um, the purple ones and he's got the black ones. Oh, okay. So he has the guns. Okay. He does. I, and, I, and I have the orange one. Um, and I'm going to get... I also want to get the black one. I like the orange on you. Yeah. Yeah. They actually were slightly smaller than the, the black for, for whatever reason. I think they're exactly the same size. It was just the color seemed smaller, but um, I believe they're exactly the same. Hey, this is Maria. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hello. 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 Hello.
Can you say give hamburger? Some, give me some goddamn water. Hamburger. Say, say hamburger, please. Hamburger, please. Oh, very good. That's a good American accent. Thank That's you. awesome. So, Ed, this is our little Google Plus Hangout. It's on our YouTube channel. Hi. And I'm kind of hey. a little bit um, disappointed in our Brits who join us every day. We typically get. Do you right, always have a Brit average, each day? At least one or two, sometimes right. three, don't okay. we, guys? Yeah. Yep. Today, I think That's they heard you were doing and then just decided there's just only room for one Brit. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, we do take up a lot of One sexy, space. sexy Brit um, allowed. No, just kidding. So anyway, we get to hang out with a bunch of people from all over the world here, so it's fun. It's very This is casual. amazing. I've never done this before. This is so cool. Oh, it's the first time. A little Google version for us. Yes, um, I'm taking it. Sorry. My pleasure. It's very yeah. casual and very informal, and um, some people may or may not have seen the show, um, The Mindy Project, so we'll introduce to you. Right, guys? Um, hey, YouTubers, if you're just joining us, we have just been joined by Ed Weeks, as I mentioned before. He is on the show called The Mindy Project on Thank Fox. Thank you so much. Right here on our Fox network. That was Heather. Now Heather, our talent booker. Um, and so, Ed, quickly, I want to introduce everybody here. It's only got a few minutes. We've got uh, Carlos, who's hanging out with us from Orange County here in California. Hi, Carlos. Hector as well uh, from Hi, Riverside. Hector. Hello. We've got Jimmy and his wife, Cordell, who are uh, downtown or Koreatown. Hi, guys. John Hi. is also in uh, Riverside. Hi, John. Uh, Nate is in Colorado. Hi, Nate. Uh, Nick is in Dallas, Texas. Hello, sir. Hello. And, oh, Stacy had to go. Okay, so Stacy left. But uh, we have some YouTubers watching. So, hey, you guys. Stacy left in disgust. I know. She's like, <laughs> hell is this Brit guy? Who's this guy? Asshole. Okay, Did you hear her say that before she left? It's not kidding. sexy. It's not becoming. Oh. Well, it's not. It's just the way yeah. I <laughs> um, If you have a question for Ed, by the way, just put it in the comments box and I'll try to get it to him. Okay, you guys? So let's start out with the fact that you're on the show called The Mindy Project. Mm -hmm. How many seasons has it been on? Is it uh, two, two. Two. Yeah, two we just got picked up for a third. <gasps> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. You play uh, Dr. Jeremy Reed. Correct. Yes. And he's uh well is he's he a uh, ladies man. He is sure. well he started I feel like off he just as have to be, he started off as something of a ladies man. Something he's like a sleazy gynecologist. Are you he's, serious? He's not <laughs> sleazy when he says gynecology. <laughs> but he's sleazy in not. his personal life and he's a very professional gynecologist. Okay. I've been okay. told to say that by my boss. Apologies for not having seen the show and I am embarrassed since I, I do work for Fox, but I have an excuse. I do oh, that's have a, okay. You can catch a, up on it tonight. I, I would like to. On Hulu. I have a three-year-old. I love Hulu. I will catch up on Hulu. Perfect. Um, so you're kind of a sleazy guy. Yeah. But not. Yeah. And now he's um he's the boss of the practice. Mm. So he thinks he's very important that the people mm. should listen to him, but of course nobody does. Why did you go into gynecology, Doctor Reed? Uh, Doctor Reed went into gynecology. I don't know. I think he just loves women. He loves to help so? out women. Because I always wonder about that. Girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm Mommy a female issues. doctor. I just don't know if I can go to a guy doctor. I just, I, I don't know. Yeah. Especially a good-looking gynecologist. I just don't know. Yeah, maybe it would be awkward, it I guess. It would be a little bit. Thankfully, not many of our storylines revolve around the nitty-gritty of gynecology. <laughs> There's no real close. <laughs> yes, go ahead, Jimmy. Is it from Cordell or you? That's from me. Okay. Oh, so it was a pleasure to meet you, Ed, first off. Thank um, you. Too. What is it? What is it like working with Mindy? And is it? And are you, do you guys have as much fun offset as you do on set? Uh, yeah. I mean, Mindy's the greatest. She, you know, she comes from uh, the office, and mm -hmm. I guess they had kind of a collaborative, slightly improvisationary kind of feel to that show. Mm -hmm. So she she really brings that to the Mindy project. So. We always write, do the lines as scripted for the first five or six takes. Oh, and then you can. But then we can like muck about and stuff, which is oh, really that's sweet. Cool. And they're very generous. Like if you say something funny, you know they'll laugh and will mm -hmm. people will break. And Ike is also a very very funny improviser. And Adam Pally, who joined the cast this season, everybody is yeah. just hilarious. It feels like you're just you're you're playing really. Do you tape in front of a live audience or? No, no? we do not, no. ma'am. No, no, no. We uh, we single camera. Now you have a background in writing. Correct? Yes, yeah, that's how I came to the States initially, actually. I, Is, I was going to ask you yeah, how you... I sold, uh, my parents had kind of an ac acrimonious separation, and it was very sad and difficult, and I wrote a script about it, because that was my way of dealing with the black comedy of it. Oh. Um, and so I ended up selling that to, to CBS, um, and that didn't go forward, but then I was available for pilot season, and I auditioned, and... You know, you I, was, in, I was doing some amateur country. gynecology at the time, and I guess I just <laughs> <laughs> did that. So. Go ahead, go ahead, Cordell. 
Okay, so I have a two-part question. Okay. So writing brought you to the States, but when you were abroad, did you do any acting or did you have any kind of desire to get into the industry? And then second, there are several shows that kind of have crossed over from a British show into an American show like The Office, which I think was actually a successful crossover. Right. Uh, but what show would be your favorite if you could be on any show? Oh, my Lord. Well, um, yeah, I did. I did do sort of quite a lot of acting. I was in London for about 10 years before I moved over here. And I did bit parts in, like, the IT crowd and this show called My Family. Um, and I did lots of commercials, and I wrote for various TV shows. But nothing really – there was no regular work, really. It was kind of hard to kind of – make a living at it so I had a hmm. variety of different There's survival a jobs. Theater. There was a lot of theatre but yeah. my agent never put me up for it because she didn't think it was well paid enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I mean it's hard, it's hard to earn a living, you know, uh, uh, over there in that field unless you're very lucky. Mm -hmm. um, as to a crossover, I mean, the, I don't know if you ever saw the IT crowd. If you, sh if you haven't, you should check it out. It's I haven't. So I will Netflix that. If it's on there. If it's yeah. on Netflix, I'll Netflix. Show it's now. hilarious. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, Chris O'Dowd is in it. I don't know if you know Chris O'Dowd. Mm -hmm. And it's set in the basement of a big, posh company. And the basement mm -hmm. is where the IT nerds live. Mm -hmm. And they just everybody hates them, and they just have, like, a terror. But it's just very funny, very dark, very British. Very Don't you see them in, like, Downton mm -hmm. Abbey or, like, those kinds of shows? It's just, like, proper... I did actually audition for Downton you... Abbey. Did? Yeah, for, for a new, posh uh, gentleman uh, suitor. Sort of suitor. Suitor for but Mary. I, think I, don't, I don't think I was kind of mm -hmm. Aryan-looking enough. Mm -hmm. I think they wanted somebody who looked more English. <laughs> but now that you're here, you're obviously auditioning as well for American roles, yes? But yeah. You can do an American accent. Oh, like wonderfully. That. Let's not do it here, but just... What's, just what's your hardest accent? People yeah, hang out. I can see it, I can see it. Yeah. Are you on social media? Do you follow... Uh, are you on Twitter? I'm on the Twitter. Yeah. I'm on the Twitter. I'm yeah. on the Instagram. Uh -huh. oh, at, at Edward Weeks is my handle. E-D-W-A-R-D. W-E-E-K-S. Okay. Yeah. At Edward Weeks, you guys, if you want to tweet him or follow him on Instagram. I wouldn't. I don't say anything of interest. You really. don't show like pictures. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Take some good pictures. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm downplaying it so much. Yeah, what are you doing? I just hate myself. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you married? No. What's your? No, I'm not married. No, no I'm. I'm no. single. I'm single. It's oh. hard in LA. Really? It's a bit tricky. For you? Yeah. You could read the phone book in the corner, and people would come out and give you their, their number. That's not what I want to base a long-term romantic relationship on. Really? How My about phone book reading. Online dating. That's how everyone starts to date now. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tinder and stuff. Maybe I should check it out. Yeah, you should. Mm. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, Ed Weeks, single and ready to mingle. You can see him on the show <laughs> called The Mindy Project, right here on Fox, actually, or Hulu Plus. Or Hulu Plus. Or Hulu Plus. Will you take a quick photo with us? Before I would we love that. See, yeah, that's me. I'll, when I when I sit down with someone British, I want to. I just yeah. You're you're smarter, emphasizing your T's a lot. Smarter. Well, I grew up in Hawaii, and that's what uh, we do. We were ruled by the Brits for a while. Weren't we all? Okay. Here's our camera. I warn you, there's a little bit of a delay. Wow, somebody just wrote a comment that said Maria Coban looks old. That's really uh, nice. Boo. <laughs> I've been in it for okay, a Okay, seriously? Time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 It's actually being yeah. very nice. Sometimes it can be really ugly on the oh, comments. Geez. But whatever. Okay, I'll take a quick photo. You ready? One, two, three, cheese. Cute! Oh, you look good. I like very it. Gorgeous. Thank you. Don't forget your calendar, Maria. Okay, well, um, sign our little calendar, please. Okay, of course. Excuse my cereal bowl. I had some breakfast. Uh, just on the, on the date it is? Or... Um, anywhere you like anywhere. is fine. Okay. We're going to try to do something fun with the calendar cool. at the end of the year. Love it. And uh, maybe for a good cause or something. So nice to meet you. It was a pleasure to meet you. What a pleasure. Take thank care. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for having me. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. Where is uh, Heather? The best way to get out of here. Right? Uh-huh. That way. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was the first time we had no Brits and we were talking to a British guy. I know, right? Right. I just love the accent. I know. It's Hello. Just, it's so much smarter. Uh, it's like Forrest Gump. Um, okay, what else? Let's see. Let's see some of the other comments. No no other comments about Viola. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I know. Well, I know old Viola. People these days, I swear. They yeah, hate you because they hate you. Hate Seriously. They're um, just jealous. Um, he was a nice guy. And I don't think he's going to be single, but so long. Because, you know, in L.A., it's all in who you know, and he just needs a good matchmaker. He's cute. Very cute. Clarissa, are you listening? <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, yeah, Clarissa's single, too. Okay. No, she's a matchmaker. And she's and single. She's single. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Hector left? Oh, no. So as a... What happened to Hector? Oh, uh, Jimmy Oh, Jimmy and Cordell, I forgot about that, that you guys did meet that way. Nice. Match, match. Oh, yeah, we met online. Yeah, That's yep. so cute. See, and look, I know many people who met online and are happily married for years and years and years. We're on our 11th. Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Happy belated. So, Maria. Yes, Nate. As a person of the Fox... Do you, have, do you have an opinion one way or another about the new uh, 24 that's coming back? Mm. Is that coming back as a series with um, Southern? Yeah. yeah, he's coming back. It's going to be a 12 episode uh, kind of miniseries thing. So uh, how's that going to work? Is every is every episode going to be two hours? Or is it only covering half it's, a day? Uh, that's interesting. You know, we haven't really discussed that. I was going to discuss that with Matt at some point, and I just forgot. Yeah, it's 24, Live Another Day. That's what it's, what it's called. Yeah. Um, I think he did an interview with Lisa recently talking about that. But, um, yeah, we didn't discuss that here. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, it was such a wildly successful franchise. Yeah, we'll see. I was in it a couple of times. I liked his other show, Touched. Touch. Oh, that one didn't do very well, right? I know. I'm surprised. It was good, though. It was very good. Was it yeah. good? Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of great shows on. I just don't have time to watch them all. There actually are a lot of great shows. Yeah, and that's why we miss a lot of stuff, because we end up, like, DVRing or watching a certain <laughs> set of series, yeah. and you can't watch everything. It's impossible. We just can't uh, watch everything. It's impossible. It is not impossible. <laughs> Well, I would love to watch um, True Blood, but I, I just I can't. I just don't you have to. have to watch Luther. Luther, I would love to watch Luther, but I'm so into Game of Thrones right now. So and, and when Idris Alba comes on the show, you I have to Alba. let me oh, know instantly. Oh, him? Does he have the accent in this one? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And she has a she has a thing for him, so it's a, no, I don't. He just reminds me of him. He reminds me of Jimmy. Like if you like Jimmy have a, and Idris, have a thing you know? with Alba. Totally yeah. could be Idris Alba and Jimmy. Totally. Yeah, and and all he needs to work on is his British accent, and you can <laughs> even change it up and make it Scottish, and you know, like throw a twist on it. <laughs> oh, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I have to do is hang out with our British friends, and uh, yeah, it, it, it would happen. Nick, you crack me up. Um, okay, so listen, I'm gonna go since it's a kind of a quiet uh, day uh, in the hangouts. I'm gonna probably go and do my weather blog, and hopefully see you guys tomorrow. I don't know who's coming tomorrow. Wednesday, yay! Nearly, nearly halfway to work week again. I know. Tuesdays okay. are. Yay. Tuesday are the hardest for me, but it'll get better. Tuesdays are the hardest for you? Yeah. It's the farthest away from the weekend. I think that's why I'm down on Tuesdays. I thought Monday was normally uh, the hardest no, day for everyone. No. Well, you Monday, you're Monday. coming down off the weekend on Monday. Yeah. You know, on Monday, you're walking through Monday with, like, yeah. no kind of sense at all because you've just come down from a weekend, so it's either hangover Mondays or, well, you know. coming down from a high on the weekend, like a lot of fun, like a lot of that, you know. Energy. Yeah, and then next month is Memorial Day. Booing you into Monday, but then Tuesday. Oh. True. So yeah, we could make Tuesday yeah. our designated Haley Duff day. Have her come in here and cook for us. Yeah. Like, yeah, that would be awesome. So who, who cook? Haley Duff. Hillary Duff. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when her sister came in? Do you remember that? Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she's so lovely. Bye, YouTubers. Bye, YouTubers. Keep it classy. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>